Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime, here on my next uh, Avatar news update video. In this one, uh, just a quick update on the <laughs> recently, I suppose, announced um, Legend of Korra Pro Bending Arena game from IDW Games. We got a brief look at basically one of the figures that's going to be included within this tabletop game. And the announcement, of course, of when we will be getting more information. So as you can see for the image on screen, we have a look at the Pro Bending Korra figure, it looks like. Um, again, the image is so, like, um, it's just a weird angle. You can't really see Korra all that well. And because it's all in grey, it's not entirely sure it's Korra. But why wouldn't they put the Korra figure in the announcement for the Korra game? So it re realistically is her. And I think it's a pretty nice looking figure. Um, it, the, it looks like there's a lot of detail there. The only unfortunate thing seems to be that in general IDW games never have their figures painted in um, in their games when they're launched. If you look up images of other IDW games, so main, the main one will be in this case like TMNT. If you look up the TMNT IDW games um, stuff, you'll see that basically the turtles are all kind of molded in one in one shade of plastic basically there's no uh, actual like paint as such so there's you know gonna be some frustration there and that like we may see some different colors of these characters um on these characters in terms of the the, the paint color that the in terms of the plastic color that they're molded in but we're not gonna see any of the details actually like stand out with the uh paint details or anything like that because they're not going to be painted so maybe they'll make a difference a, a different decision here but I'm not entirely sure they will so realistically what we're looking at there is something very similar to what we will probably see in the final product it it's nice to see that maybe at least there's a little bit of paint around the the side of the base just to make it stand out a little bit more but you know it's it's disappointing, especially with the price they're asking. You know, you think they'd maybe have the figures be painted just to give something. Right now, it's just like, do you really want to buy a bunch of grey figures of the core characters in the pro bending gear? I don't know. But um, the other thing here that's revealed is that on September 6th, that's when the Kickstarter is going to launch. And I assume with that, I think Kickstarters have to work this way. They obviously are going to have a video where they go over what the game actually is and they'll cover what you're getting for the money that you're backing, basically. So that will probably be when we get the reveal of just how many figures are going to be included in this, which characters. Hopefully we'll get a look at what the cards that this game would obviously inevitably involve look like. And we'll really get a look at if they've put any effort into this game in terms of like new art or... Or are they just using a bunch of stock art or screenshots from the show? Or have they actually put effort in and maybe got new art for the game? Um, and I think for a lot of people that's going to be a big thing of just like... I think there's so many Avatar fans out there who are so familiar with all the stock pieces of art. That the second you see that you're going to turn off any piece of merchandise that uses it. Just because it's the, the obvious piece of art to use. Um, when there's so much more they could do. Um, and of course I think the biggest thing they have to do here is explain the game a bit better because the initial announcement for this did a really really bad job at basically getting any hype for this game. I hope that they can kind of bring some hype and attention around this game with the announcement of this Kickstarter. So uh, definitely I'll do a video uh, on September 6th, hopefully, um, covering what has been revealed about this game and seeing if there's any improvements made and just what it seems like realistically it's going to take a lot for this game to convince me to actually buy it the price that they put out there just seems a bit too much regardless of what's included here the as i said the the art is going to have to be really cool and new and look really good for me to actually purchase this game but uh, in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are on the look of these figures. Do you think, like the other IDW games, that uh, they'll be unpainted once again? Or do you think they might actually make Korra into a different stuff? I kind of doubt they'll do a deluxe thing since their plans, obviously, to do multiple um, multiple different, like, Avatar games. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see where they go with it. Um, but yeah, 
let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on the game and what I've had, I've had to say about it here. But that's been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.